Hey everybody, Steam Rice Bun here on behalf of Task Force Gamer. Today it's all about Mad Cat Sprite 7 gaming keyboard for the PC. Of course, nobody plays games on the Mac, of course not. That's for serious people. Anyways, if you're a serious gamer and you like serious gaming keyboards, check out this review. Let's just go ahead and get into it. So here's the thing, are you a serious gamer looking to take your gameplay to the next level? Well, if you plateaued and you're looking for that edge, this is a fully modular keyboard that gives you unparalleled customization. You know, are you tired of those cookie cutter keyboards? Because we were, and this is not one of them, as you can see in the beginning. So check it out, there's no right or wrong way to set up this keyboard. There's only one way, it's the way that works best for you, and it's pretty insane. There's nothing like this. On the market right now, Madcats has gone all out on this one. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm going to talk about the control modules in the Venom V E N O M is what they call it. It's the touch screen. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate, and the controls are intuitive, um, just like you might think. And the program has advanced macros. It's got adjustable backlighting. It will take your in-game control of external functions also, like macros and timers and stuff like that. And it even balances game and chat volumes. And, you know, it even launches apps and websites. It's pretty amazing. It even initiates the control of TeamSpeak. So you can get your gaming on with your headsets and some dudes are too loud and some are not. Well, this fixes all that. And it all happens with the simple touch of the fingers, just like an iPod if you got one of those. Well, anyways... I say that it's intuitive, and I mean it. Nothing could be easier. The way this thing is set up is, well, let me put it this way. You'll be a pro after using it just once. So the first thing I noticed was that um, because of the smaller footprint than the run-of-the-mill keyboards, the main keyboard actually gives your mouse plenty of space for, like, large sweeping movements, like, you know, move the mouse around. And there's a replacement WSD key, you know, those keys that make you move, like, uh, for example, the ones that make you go forward in the games. Yeah, if you don't know what those are, then you shouldn't even be looking at this review. But anyways, um, you know, it adapts to your gaming style because you have a choice. There's contoured or rubbered edge versions, which is really cool. But check this out. There's a full RBG backlighting with, check it out, 16 million color variations. What that means is if you're a pink type of dude or maybe even salmon or fuchsia you can get that color I promise you you can make it match your computer you know that's it's pretty cool and I cannot tell you how great this smaller keyboard is I mean I can put it wherever I want and move it to where I need when when I need it depending on what game I'm playing and stuff like that it's, it's pretty awesome and you know customization is truly king in my book so what I will tell you though is I love the macro buttons on the strip, but even uh, better than that I can move them and when I don't need them, or maybe even just take them off all together. The keypad and the number pads, all totally customizable. Like I said, this thing is crazy. So what can I say about the number pad? Well, it's a number pad. <laughs> Other than that, the fact I can put it wherever I need to is pretty super sexy in my opinion actually but if you have a weird desk like mine and you never seem to have enough room between your Mountain Dews and the and the Snickers then this bad boy is a game changer because you can fit it in between all that crap one other feature is this uh, palm rest thing it's it's pretty crazy when I first saw these palm rests I literally laughed out loud on the floor raffle all that good stuff I called my buddy a sissy girl for using it and actually my roommate but then I broke down I tried it myself, and after about five hours of black ops and a few Mountain Dews, I still feel great. No fatigue in my hands or wrists, so I'm pretty sold on it. 